Then we also have news courtesy of RA regarding London Junction 2 Festival confirming their first name as they return to Boston Blood Club Manor. I'm still annoyed at Junction 2 for moving location in the first place because of whatever nonsense they had to move it to. I still maintain that first Junction 2 festival that I went to. Was it 2020? Was it 2021? Who knows? But it was absolutely banging. It might be one of the best London outdoor festivals I went to. And primarily, the reason why it was so good was because of the sound. I've been to plenty London festivals, I've been to plenty UK festivals, and I'm sure most of you out there can attest, if you're from the UK, have come to festivals here, you will know the sound is notoriously bad because of local council complaints and because of where these parks are situated and whatnot, they just always have to limit the sound and it becomes really, really, really bothersome if you're there for the music and you're there for the sound, you're there to kind of vibe out, to kind of go somewhere like that, like in open field, and you can't hear the music unless you get right up into the right up until the front of the stage which kind of defeats the whole point of going to a per going to a park and going to a festival and having it being you know open air and whatever, whatever it may be so you can be whatever you need to be and you have to kind of stand right at the front like an absolute dalad um waiting to hear the beats flipping hit your earlobe so it's nice to see london junction 2 kind of confirm the boston manor names and hopefully the names you know from last time come back again but you know let's wait and see it says, after several cancellations and a change of location, the LWE event will return to its original Boston Manor Park on July 21st 22nd, and July 22nd of 2023. On the Friday on the stage hosted by um, Ion, uh, what's Ion again? Is that the headphone brand or something? I forgot. Um, Junction 2 Sister Festival in Albania. Oh no, that's it. It's the festival in Albania, my bad. Um, the lineup will feature the likes of Underworld, who will play live, Jeff Mills, Midland, Orla, Otik, back to back with Ben UFO, Helena Half is a pretty good person to see there daphne honey dj stingray object elka and sophie cortesis not gonna lie so far that lineup isn't really pushing me to go the only people who i legitimately would want to see in that sort of festival lineup um don't get me wrong as much as i love jeff mills and he's a legend i don't want to see him in a park i want to see him in a really dark nightclub somewhere so that's probably a, a miss um i probably don't want to see ben ufo because you know who who cares and I, I like him but you know um, Helena Half, I'd like to see, of course. Honey would be sick to see there in that sort of um, platform, and that'll be about it. And maybe DJ Stingray, yeah, for just the nostalgia sort of things. But they're not really hitting off the way you would have wanted it to hit off. It continues. Saturday's lineup features a stage hosted by London platform performer Fuse. What? Which will host um, he what? Hessel Audio. So Benny Fur is playing twice alongside Paniga and Pearson Sound, of course. Uh, you got Sama Abdulahid, you got Fiak, Margaret Degas. Jesus Christ, that's really old school, isn't it? That's minimal to, to the point. Margaret Degas and Sonia Mina. Whoa. And Adam Bayer. What? Yo, I'm not going to lie, Junction 2. I love you guys, and that festival is nice outside in the park, but this lineup sounds like absolute doo doo. Next year, Junction 2 Festival will be the first since 2019. Okay, cool. That's the one I went to then. In 2022, the festival had come to move dates and location due to COVID-19 related delays. And a few months later, it was forced to cancel altogether. Yeah, I was happy it did cancel. I got some time off of work from it. I was happy I was able to, you know, get that canceled and get that refunded and put my money towards other events. But those lineups seem really, really horrific. Actually, they mentioned names here they should have actually mentioned that are pretty decent to go check out on a Saturday. I see here Dax J. I see DJ Holographic. Um, I see Genie on Earth back to back with Ghost. These names are much better than the ones that flipping RA picked out. RA don't have good taste, bro. Like, honestly, Dax J, DJ Holographic, I'd see. Um, Genie on Earth back to back with the Ghost would be some of the best house music you've ever heard. Um, and a disco, indie dance type of vibe um and that's about it nina kravitz if you're on that kind of vibe but look but um pralesh rarish versus sorry rarish and back to back with prasella is going to be absolutely banging yo man they really really scummed the flipping lineup so for me i would say saturday is definitely better than friday but you for back to back with helena health wow so loads of back to backs and i guess that's the theme of the festival back to back ben ufo helena health definitely back to back with honey um, Dixon playing on his own, DJ Stingray. See, the lineup's decent, but is it worth the, 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 the price of admission? How much are they charging for this blood club? Let me see. Because I'm interested to see if this is true. The, 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 how much are they charging for this? Let's go on a Friday. And let's see what the prices are saying. 
Um, but they got the price listed. No, not yet. Okay, so tickets aren't on sale just yet. I guess it's got to register your interest and all that sort of malarkey. But yeah, fair enough. Ticket purchase of twenty pounds. Okay, I guess if you want to and you kind of you know you don't mind putting out a pre-order or whatever it may be, it might not be the worst idea in the world to kind of put it down because, like I said, the lineup on those other days are it's way better than whatever you know already picked out here in their little um, report. But still. Considering what's going to be available this year and this summer, it might be best to kind of hold off and kind of see what your options are going forward. But like I said, if Boss, if they return to Boston Manor and it's returned to the same levels that I saw when I went there in 2019, it's going to be banging. Legit. The sound was so good. It was well organized. Um, the stage underneath the flipping motorway was absolutely sensational, like to see visually, because if I'm not mistaken, it was a bit, it was like on a bit of a hill. So you actually got to see the stage all the way from the back if you wanted to. So those bare people just standing around, um, around the back. And I actually saw a, a, a way nicer mix of people because I think there is a tendency for London festivals, depending on what sort of genre you're in, to be really young or to be really all over the place. But I thought this one was a good mix of like having young people, older people, chin strokers shufflers cat boys coke boys balloon girls um weed girls like you know everyone was kind of mixed in and i think it kind of added to the overall vibe of it and maybe it was the fact that the lineup is so usually eclectic and all over the place because i think of myself i would never imagine to see a lineup with genie on earth the ghost and dax j do you know what I mean and flipping enzo siragusa who's you know a shadow of his former self but still i would never uh, you know expect to see those kind of lamps together so clearly they are going for a little bit more of an eclectic you know um varied uh sort of lineups and hopefully that will kind of serve them well going forward but like i said it might be best to kind of hold off on buying your ticket straight away to go and kind of things just in case there is better options out there going forward 